Today the topic of our video is that we will discuss vertically opposite angles, corresponding angles, interior angles and alternate interior angles when two parallel lines are intersect by a transversal. Vertically opposite angles when two straight lines intersect vertically opposite angles are formed line AB and line CD are intersected at point O and you can see that angles are formed angle 1 angle 3 angle 2 and angle 4 or you can say AOD is angle 1 AOC is angle 3 COD is angle 2 and DOB is angle 4 COB is angle 2 in this way angles are formed now what are vertically opposite angles you can see angle 1 and angle 2 are opposite so we can say angle 1 and angle 2 or angle AOD and angle COB are vertically opposite angles. In the same way, angle 3 and angle 4 are also opposite sides on, on the opposite sides, sides and they are also vertically opposite angles. So angle COA is 3 and angle BOD is angle 4. So in this diagram when two lines intersect each other the vertically opposite angles are known as angle 1 and angle 2 is one pair and angle 3 and angle 4 is the other pair. Corresponding angles when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal corresponding angles are formed line M and line N are intersected by a transversal L and M and N are parallel lines so the angles are formed angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 are formed at the point um, where the transversal intersect the parallel line M and 5 6 7 and 8 angles are formed on the parallel line N where the uh, transversal has intersected it. Now, the, now what are the corresponding angles? The angles that are formed on the same side and on the same position of the transversal they are known as the corresponding angles like angle 1 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7 and angle 4 and angle 8 they are known as corresponding angles because these pairs are at the same position and on the same side of the transversal that is intersecting the two parallel lines line M and N. Now the concept of interior angles when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal in this way the angle 1 and angle 3 and angle 2 and angle 4 they are known as interior angles because they are on the same side of the transversal and they are inside therefore these are the interior angles alternate interior angles now line x and line y they are two parallel lines and they are intersected by a transversal that is l and interior angles are angle 1 and angle 4 on uh, on the parallel line x and made by intersecting of the transversal L whereas on line Y angle 2 and angle 3 are the interior angles. Now what are alternate interior angles? Angle 1 and angle 3. Angle 2 and angle 4. 
they are the alternate interior angles of these two parallel lines when this transversal has intersected them so the pairs angle 1 and angle 3 and angle 4 and angle 2 these are known as the alternate interior angles as these angles are on the opposite side of the transversal see angle 1 is on this side whereas angle 3 is on this side but they are interior angles but they now angle 1 and angle 3 are the alternate interior angles whereas angle 4 and angle 2 are also interior angles but they are the alternate interior angles hope you have understood the concept of interior angles alternate interior angles corresponding angles and vertically opposite angles